conditions looking pretty good. One person is dead after an officer involved shooting in North Knoxville. That shooting happened in Fountain City on Low Road. That's just off Broadway. WBIR 10 News reporter Shannon Smith joins us live from the scene in Shannon. Let's talk about what you know right now. Well, Robin, John, the shooting happened just after five o'clock today and police have since left. They cleared up the scene around 10 15 this evening and there. But at the time there were a lot of officers, both from KPD and KCSO here at the scene off of Low Road, like you said, in Fountain City. Now, since this officer involved shooting involved the Knoxville Police Department, the sheriff's office is going to be investigating. And so far, KCSO is releasing very few details. We do not know how many KPD officers were involved, but we do know that at least one person is dead. All I can tell you is that we responded uh, to the scene here of an officer involved shooting by the Knoxville Police Department. Um, the Sheriff's Department uh, is investigating uh, the shooting uh, and we have one person that is deceased. The Knox County Sheriff's Office has not yet released the name of the person who died. This is the second officer involved shooting involving KPD within a month. In November, Knoxville police shot a 23 year old woman after she reportedly threatened officers with a military style knife. She later died of her injuries and there have been a handful of other officer involved shootings in Knox County this year. In July, a man was arrested after a U.S. Marshal involved shooting at a West Knox post office. KPD says that man tried to run over the marshal with his car after resisting arrest and the marshal pulled out his gun for defense and fired shots as that suspect drove away. And in January, a KPD officer was shot after pulling over a man for a traffic violation. He never drew his weapon on that suspect. Now, like we said, that scene is clear. It has been clear for about 30 minutes here off of Low Road in Fountain City, and we are continuing to get information. And as we do from the Knox County Sheriff's Office, we'll make sure that we keep you posted here on WBIR 10 News. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Shannon, thank you. As holiday shoppers make their way from